mio or Kenya Kwanza wakienda dukani kununua unga ama mafuta ya kupika manini are they going to the same stores with the same prices why is it that government supporters are giving the government higher marks and reducing the cost of living than those who identify with Azimio if they're actually paying the same amount for the goods that they buy. And I think you can answer the question. People have an attachment. They probably voted for this government. They identify with it. They're a bit shy to criticize it so harshly. It's not that they're living in different countries or different parts of the country or going to different dukas. So we would expect to see this slight contrast in the scoring. If you have any question about that, uh, we can discuss that at the end. And you can see the other policy areas that we also asked about. And these were read off. They, as I said, they were all read off and people were asked to score them. Um, in the middle, we have support for devolution and have a middle score of two. Improving health services, a middle score of two. Combating tribalism, almost the same, 1.9. Protecting human rights, 1.9. Education system, middle score. And I've basically explained to you um, what I include in these comments here. Um, I would just uh, note the final comment here that as far as I can remember, I know I'm getting old so my memory is starting to fade. Sometimes I can't remember to brush my teeth in the morning. No, not really. Um, that this is the first time we've put this question on government performance, framed it in this particular statistical way. So I'm looking forward to getting feedback. We are looking forward to getting feedback from you people in the media. Once you've published or broadcast these results, whether you think this is a useful way in all of our surveys to be tracking government. Because um, there are many different ways of doing it if you look at some of our past surveys. Um, we, we thought it would be useful to try something new. Um, um, given that the government is still fairly new. Okay, and then related to that, we asked a separate question, and, and, and these, nothing was read out. It was an unprompted question. What would you say is the main challenge that government, the Kenya government is facing in implementing its uh, manifesto or its policies? We didn't read off anything. People could only give one answer. Um, so don't say, please, that only 15% of Kenyans think corruption is a problem or a challenge for the government. Please don't say that. You have to say, of all Kenyans, the one challenge that they could mention, 39% said cost of living, a different 15% said corruption because they could only give one answer to this question. So it's not that all Kenyans think that only 39% only of all Kenyans think that inflation is a problem. I'm sure if you ask Kenyans, do you think inflation cost living is a problem? 100% would say yes. So be very careful in how you frame your reporting of this results. A single response question, not read out, un that is unprompted. Again, you can see some contrasts between those who support the government and those who support the opposition, but on cost of living, not much. 42% versus 39. And with a margin of error of about plus or minus 1.8, almost equal, almost equal. Why is there seven points more among the opposition for corruption as the main challenge as com compared to government supporters? If you support the government, you're probably less likely to want to say, it's having a problem with corruption because that doesn't make it look good. And if you add up those percentages in each column, of course they add up to 100 because as I said several times already, it was a single response question. You can look at the little explanation analysis that we provide with the data, but you are free and encouraged to make your own if you would like to interpret these results in a different way. Sorry. Now we come to the performance of cabinet secretaries. We know that many people are st still not familiar with all of them. So I think Michael will correct me 
But for these ratings, we only listed the names of cabinet secretaries that people could mention on their own, or when we asked and read off them, it says, yes, I know who that cabinet secretary is. 